Pal all and welcome back to the channel. Today I am at my local CEX and once we are done here I will be heading to my local game. So let's go! Some awesome limited edition Switch consoles there in the window as well as the 8 year games on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know down in the comments if you collect for the Nintendo Switch and what kind of games you collect. Splatter House there for the Xbox 360. This is one I am currently receiving for the Xbox 360 collection. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga there for the Nintendo 3DS. The cover art on that looks really interesting. Um, I would like to know down in the comments if you've played that game and if it's any good and if it's worth picking up or not. God of War Ragnarok there for the PlayStation 4. That is one I am looking to get very, very soon as I am super enjoying the God of War um, remake on PlayStation 4. It's so good. And if you don't have that, then you definitely need to go and buy it now because it is totally worth it. Lord of the Rings Gollum there for £12 on the Xbox One. Let me know if you've played the Gollum game and what your thoughts are about it because I have heard some really, really awful things like saying it's the worst game ever made. So let me know down in the comments. Saw there on the PlayStation 3 for £18. The price on these horror games are creeping up. So if you are a horror fanatic, then I would get them very soon because you are going to be paying a extortionate price if you wait any longer. Just headed into Cash Generator now. I did pick up a few bits from this cash generator, but I will show you that in another video. Heading into my local game store now, as I have heard, there are some good deals to be had. And I did get a few, which I was very happy about, but I will show you those in the pickups. Not much reduction on the download code Switch games only or on the Switch titles in general. Um, in my game store, the pre owned games are basically gone now and they are just new games. It's just sad to think about when we were younger and the game stores and the game station stores were our most popular branch of games like game stores to go to and now these are basically gone now well game station has gone and game is basically all but gone which is sad but unfortunately as the times grow things change and this is what happens hello and welcome back to the games room as you have just seen i have been to my local cex and also been to my local game and while i was there i picked up some items so what I'll do first is show you the items I got from CEX and then show you the items I got from Game. So, without further ado, let's get into the pickup, shall we? So, the first game that I picked up this week is Bionic Commando for the PlayStation 3. This is one I haven't really heard much about, but it is by Capcom. And you know, Capcom makes some awesome games. So, happy to be adding that one to the collection. 
The next game I picked up is a steel book, and that is Bioshock for the Xbox 360. If you didn't know, CX are now charging steel book prices for steel books and not for the um let me think what it is the normal copy normal version of the game so they used to charge the same price for a steel book as for the normal version but now on the tags it does say steel book edition or tin edition so this one is now five pound but still a good price for a awesome steel book the next game i picked up is dead island for the playstation 3 i am into like my zombie type games like dead rising obviously and dead island and i didn't have this one in my collection so i decided to add this and it wasn't too expensive either to go on from that one i picked up dead island riptide because i've got dead island now so i had to pick that one up and then to finish off the trilogy of dead island games I picked up Escape from Dead Island also for the PlayStation 3. So now I have the full trilogy of Dead Island games added to my PlayStation 3 collection, which I am very happy about. So that is everything that I picked up from CX this week. So let's get into the pickups I got from game. So some of these games I will be keeping for the collection and some I will be reselling on. I will tell you which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm reselling. So let's get into those. So the first game I picked up is Wonderful 101 for the PlayStation 4. As you can see, it was supposed to be £14.99 and I got it for £3.98. So very happy with this one. This one looks like um, Beautiful Joe, like that sort of style. So I like Beautiful Joe. So very happy to be adding this one. The next game I picked up is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands for the Xbox One. This was £5. This I think they sell for £10 or £12 in CEX. So I've got a really good bargain with this one. And this one is new and sealed. So this one will be added to the collection. The next two games I picked up are Halo Wars 2. Two copies for the Xbox, Xbox One. And these are new and sealed, as you can see. And these were just 49 pence each. These ones I will be reselling. So hopefully we can get some good profit off these to add, so we can add more games to the collection. The next game I picked up is, well, sorry, there's two of these. Two copies of FIFA 22 for the PlayStation 5. These were just one pound each. And these are also new and sealed. I shan't copy quite... Let me try that again. I shan't be keeping any of these because I do not like FIFA. But they will be reselling on and we'll be adding more games to the collection thanks to those. The next game I picked up is FIFA 22. Again, also for the Xbox One. This was also a pound and this one will also be resold on. The next game I picked up is the Elder Scrolls Elsewhere for 49 pence. As you can see, it should have been £9.99, but 49 pence is awesome. Like I said, this is for the PlayStation 4, so for a PlayStation 4 game for 49 pence, can't really turn it down. Not sure whether I'm keeping this yet, but we will see. And then the last game that I picked up from game, see, get it? The last game I picked up from game this week is Ghostbusters, the video game for the PlayStation 4. As you can see, it's at the top, it should have been £9.99. But CEX do sell this for £15 and I got this for £98. Unfortunately, this one is not sealed and it is a pre-owned copy. But this one I shan't be keeping either and I shall be reselling this one on two. And the profits from these will be going to more games for the games room. So that is everything that I picked up this week. If you enjoyed this week's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as it really helps me out and it really helps the channel out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.